Hi guys, so today we're going to be doing the sneak peek early gender DNA test. Um, firstly I want to apologise for the lighting, it's quite harsh, it's because I've got to have a fake light up there. Um, because I've waited till this evening to film this for Luke to come home from work because of his shifts um, and I just wanted him to like read the instructions to me as I was doing it. Um, make sure I'm not doing anything wrong while I'm trying to like film it and stuff and um, also we're sat here in the kitchen because if you haven't seen on my Instagram we've had a flood of the entire ground floor of our house and everything's upside down at the minute because they haven't been out to fix it so this is the space that we're working with here it's the only place that I've got like a table to show you and where I can sit down so that's that and yeah so this is what the box looks like And we're gonna open it and have a look. So these are the instructions. We have a quick read through these and figure out what it is we need to do. I'm gonna get Luke to read these because he's more normal than me. <laughs> what word? <laughs> you can understand the instructions more than me. So yeah, we're gonna uh, Luke's gonna have a look at this now while I show you what I'm gonna show this to Luke now while I show you what else comes in this box. So here you go, Luke. Also, please excuse how I look. It's been 29 degrees today, and I did my makeup, but apparently it's all come off. I just, I don't think makeup would help me anyway. Really, you've all seen mm -hmm. what I look like. This is just what I look like nowadays. You can blame it on the weather, but really, I'm just ugly. Right, so in the box, in the box you get um, a band which just from looking at the instructions then I think is to go around your wrist you get a little scrubbing brush to go wash your hands with which I'm assuming like to clean in a minute you get these things which I'm assuming you need to drink water now 8 what? ounces go 8 ounces of water right let's get 8 ounces of water <laughs> right so I've got more water like Luke said we need so let me carry on I hate water by the way, so that's not going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Then you have these little guys, which I'm guessing are what they use to click your finger and get the blood. You also have the little vial, which you place in this hole here to collect your blood. Um, plasters and alcohol wipes and a little bandage. So I'm going to drink this drink and then I'll be back. Break out so hard with cutting my fingers. I can't have blood tests. Yeah, another thing guys, I'm absolutely, like, you know when you have to have your blood taken mm -hmm. from these bits of your arms, like, um, just the blood tests or whatever, I've them a lot because I've had them a lot in my life, obviously because I've been pregnant, and also with me being, like, anemic, they take my blood a lot, and also injections, like, injections in your arms, or, I don't know, the top of your leg, or whatever it is. I hate anything like that. Like, when they take the blood, at the hospital, I'm literally yanking my arm away, and you can see the nurses getting angry. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, 27 year old person, and I just can't. So I don't know how I'm going to do this to myself. So I move the angle of the camera slightly so you can see what's going on down here. So we don't need that. That's the envelope sent back in. So we'll put that out there. Is that out of the way? That's the instructions. So we do need that. That we don't need right now, we don't need that box right now, and we don't need these stickers now. So, finish this water. <coughs> so the first thing we need to do, well the first thing you need to do is scan the barcode register online, so we're going to do that. Second <coughs> thing you need to do is... Clean the surface, which I have done just a second ago. Drink water 20 minutes before starting. Yeah, we've drank the water, so by the time we've read all this, and run through it all. Wash hands with soap for two minutes. Remove nail brush from box. Wash hands again and use the nail brush. Okay. Oof. I'm gonna go do that now. Okay, so my hands are washed and it says air dry by shaking and do not touch anything except test kit items. Oops, maybe no one has touched my hair. Right, so <laughs> number one, remove and place the following items on a clean surface. Right, so we need the band. We need that. That. Says 
to open the lid. It says that there's going to be liquid in the bottom of this vial and not to empty it because it's meant to be in there. So you open this, oh my god I'm so scared, and you put it in here. There's a little hole and it sits in there nicely. So we're going to put it there, I'm going to move it over here so you can see it, here. Next, insert collection tube into the hole. Right, so it says you need to stand up during the blood collection. Select the hand you wish to use. Rotate the arm in a circular motion. Make a fist and open and close tightly 10 times and then put the band on the wrist. Oh my God, we're getting close to the, the actual bit, Luke. I need you here for actual support. Rotate the cap in either direction and pull off. Right, I'm going to move the camera a bit further away so you can see so you can see what I'm doing. Let me move this chair out of the way. Move this here. Oh, I'm in a circle multiple times. <laughs> I'm going to hit every single lash here. Is that good enough? No, no. Okay. Make a fist and open and close tightly. Ten times. Okay, and then put this around your wrist. Firstly though, actually, I'm going to read the next instructions because we'll probably have to do it again. So, it says, for this, rotate and pull it off. Select either the middle finger or the ring finger. Well, that's good that I read that because I was going to do that one. So that one or that one. Use the top outside portion of your finger. Use a clean fingertip with an alcohol wipe, okay. Hold the lasset on your finger with the grooves. Place it on the side of your finger with the narrow side facing forward. Are there more instructions? Uh, it's from the back now. Press firmly against your finger and apply a large amount of pressure until you hear it click. Show <sighs> your arm and your hand. Start applying pressure from the top of your finger, below the knuckle. massage downward. Press firmly on the fingertip until full blood forms, <coughs> drops form. And you have to do that until it reaches the line. That's a lot of blood to reach this line. Can you see? It's not focusing. See the line? Yeah, oh. yeah. I don't know how to use one of these. So there's three. So I'm guessing they give you three in case you mess up. And I'll tell you something, if I mess up, I do not want to do that again. Once you've done it, you close the lid and mix the sample. Right. 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 So you push this on your finger. And where do you click it? So you just push it down. And it just clicks eventually. And yeah, I'll click it so. <gasps> Is it going to hurt? No. It's not going to hurt. Why would it not hurt? Right, I'll have to start again. I can't do it. I can't even do it for me. No, I can't. I can't hurt myself. It doesn't hurt. It just you just push it on. It's no needle. You can't see a needle or anything. Oh God, God, I'm gonna be sick. Okay, so the band is on. I just twist this. So that's it. Yeah. Just put that on where you want to, where the... Uh, I can't! And you just push? No, I can't. I know. I want to cry. Okay, blood's on it. What do I have to do? Oh, there's a nail on it. I wish there's no nail. You lied. You lied to me. <laughs> okay, I don't remember what it said, but you read the instructions as I'm pushing the blood. I don't know where how to get more blood out. It says something. You're blocking the light from the interested people. God, I'm bleeding a lot. I have to fill it to the line. Apply pressure. Just apply to pressure. To the top of your finger below the knuckle and massage downwards. Press firmly at the fingertip until the full blood drop continues massaging as needed to keep the blood flowing okay. until the sample collection is complete. You need at least to the line. 
I'll die. I'm gonna take all the blood out of my body. Yeah, uh, you've got a good Okay, is that enough? Supposed to use an alcoholic swab to wipe it. That was not fun, guys. Told you how I hated needles. I don't even know how much footage I'm going to leave in, but there's literally about 20 minutes of me crying. Oh, that was horrible. My finger. I need to go. Goodbye. Okay, guys. So that was an ordeal and a half. So I'm going to put the little plaster on my finger, even though I don't really feel like I need it, to be fair. I'm going to do it just to keep it like hygienic for the time being so here we have the little sample it says to cover it so i'm going to cover it straight away actually there we go right then there you go this is what my blood is looking like if it'll focus there you go that's what my blood's looking like and it says to um firmly close it, it says firmly tap the tube and shake it so it mixes with the little fluid that was inside of it And then you have to do this 10 times. So upside down, then back that way. Then upside down, then back that way. Collection tube into the resealable bag. What's the resealable bag? Is it there? Biohazard. With gauge and seal. That's the gauge in it. Look. Hey. That's the gauge, isn't it? Gauze. Gauze, then. I don't know. And seal it. So you put it in this bag, and the bag is marked a biohazard. Oh, you needed to register it first. Mm hmm Place the bag with the gauze in clear container box and snap the lid shut. So I'm guessing you put it back in here. There you go, snap the lid shut. Then what you do is you put it into your prepaid shipping package and then that's that. So, so I have done the blood sample. Oops, still got this one. That was an ordeal, so I apologise if that put anyone off. I am just a big fat wuss. So the blood sample is in here. It's ready to go in the package and get sent off. And I'll be back in a couple of days to let you know the results. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to the video. Earlier on you'll have seen me taking my blood to send off to get the results. Um, I got my results back on the 3rd. So I'm going to show you the email that you receive when the sample has arrived. And then, let me just click on it before showing you. So what it says is, your test sample has arrived at Sneak Peek Labs. So be on the lookout for the gender results and you will get your results in four to eight hours. And I received this email at 6.18 at night. So I was thinking, oh my goodness, I hope it comes before I fall asleep. So let me just show you what this email looks like. So this is what is on my computer screen at the minute. So you can see if I move the mouse here, it says four to eight hours. Um, so I was really excited when that came through. Through. And it, so I tried to stay awake to see the results but I must have fell asleep. The results came in at 12.40am and I had already fallen asleep I remember. So I'm trying to go on this email so I can show it you. So when you receive the email it doesn't have the gender in the subject line. It says your results are in so you have to click it for um, to find out the gender. So if you haven't seen, let me just show you what the gender so is. So on your screen, you get this kind of envelope thing and then you click it. Oh, she says. Let me go back, what's happening? Oh, okay. Well, when you first get the email, 
it comes shut like this. It's ob I've obviously opened it. And then it opens up and says, congratulations. And for me, it said, you're having a boy. And then if you scroll down, it says this little report here. Uh, that It says that there was a sufficient amount of DNA. Um, they detected the Y DNA, which means the male chromosome. And that they have assumed, well, interpretation that I'm having a male. So that is the email that you receive. And like I said, when you open it, um, there's nothing in the, um, what's it called? So when you first, the email pops up, it doesn't just say in the subject line. You have to click onto it, so that's good. So, yeah, like I said, it comes like that, and then it opens up. But I think because I've opened it already, it's uh, it's not shutting and opening itself. Ah, what am I doing? Anyway, yes. So, we are having a little boy. And if you haven't seen me announce the gender already, I will insert that at the end of this video, us announcing it to our family and friends, and then obviously getting some pictures to post on social media, which you may have already seen. But I just wanted to make this video so you could see like the process of how the DNA test works, what you have to do, how long it takes to get your results back. Um, and like, as soon as they've received it, so what did I say, six something till 12, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. 12. So six hours later, and we knew the gender so um well i didn't actually because i fell asleep and i woke up and uh, i ended up having a sneaky look at 5 a.m while luke was still asleep <laughs> but um but yeah so hopefully you found that really interesting in case you're wondering whether to try um the dna test yourselves hopefully i've helped you to understand how it all works and yeah Hope you like this video if you like me and you want to see more of me follow over on instagram i post a lot more over there well i used to i don't really so much anymore i need to get back to it yes follow me over on instagram like this video and subscribe and i'll be back with a baby update peace three, three two, two one, one.